Steelers vs. Bengals stalemate in contract negotiations. Tyler Boyd, WR for the Bengals, is the target of the Steelers. But financial negotiations are stalling. With the 2020 for draft approaching, the pressure is on to find a solution. While Pittsburgh waits, uncertainty hangs over the team. Will Boyd join the Steelers before the big day? Fans hold their breath, awaiting the decision that could change the course of the season. The stakes are high and the clock is ticking. Already leave your like and comment down below your opinion. It is super important to us. Already subscribe so you don't miss any content. Hash NFL hash Steelers hashtag Steelers news Pittsburgh Steelers face a challenge in the pursuit of Tyler Boyd. In a market heated by free agency frenzy, the Pittsburgh Steelers find themselves at a crossroads. With an urgent need to bolster their receiving cores, the team sets its sights on a specific target, Tyler Boyd from the Cincinnati Bengals. However, negotiations are far from easy, and the clock keeps ticking. In this backstage drama, Steelers fans eagerly await to see if their team will overcome this obstacle. The Pittsburgh Steelers encounter an unexpected challenge as they seek to strengthen their roster for the upcoming season. After the initial frenzy of free agency, where key players changed teams, the team finds itself in a delicate situation, negotiating with wide receiver Tyler Boyd, formerly of the Cincinnati Bengals. In a narrative full of tension and uncertainty, rumors spread through the lead corridors. Ray Fittipaldo, a renowned writer specialized in the Steelers, reports on the backstage of this dispute that could shape the team's future. Boyd, known for his exceptional skills on the field, is more than just a player available on the market. His relationship with the city of Pittsburgh and the team adds an extra element of drama to this saga. Will the Steelers manage to secure his signature before it's too late? As the deadlock continues, fans hold their breath aware that this negotiation could define the course of the upcoming season. Time is running out, and every minute counts in this battle for the services of one of the league's most talented wide receivers. But what if Boyd isn't the final piece of the puzzle? The Steelers have a plan B, revealed in the shadows of the 2024 NFL Draft. Will they bet all their chips? On Boyd's arrival, or is there an alternative plan waiting in the wings? In this thrilling narrative, follow the ups and downs of the Pittsburgh Steelers' quest for talent. In a race against time and rivals who are eyeing the same players, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. As the fate of the Pittsburgh team is decided, play after play. Before we continue on this exciting journey, we would like to ask a small favor from our amazing fans. Don't forget to leave your like and comment below. Your interaction is the fuel that drives us to keep bringing exciting stories like this one. Now, without further ado, let's dive headfirst into this incredible saga of the Pittsburgh Steelers. This is the first news of the day. Let's go to the second, JJ. Watt offers a unique perspective on Steelers QB Kenny Pickett trade, highlighting the struggle between opportunity and pressure to win now. Meanwhile, eyes are on Russell Wilson as the Steelers seek to break their playoff losing streak, JJ. Watt sees both sides of Steelers' trade for QB Kenny Pickett. It was a big surprise when the Pittsburgh Steelers traded quarterback Kenny Pickett to the Philadelphia Eagles. Just days after news broke that the Steelers were signing Russell Wilson and rumors of a quarterback competition surfaced. However, it was later revealed that Pickett initiated the trade and hoped to land somewhere with a starting opportunity, but frankly, 
His situation now is much worse behind Yelen Hurts. Former NFL star JJ. What was on the Pat McAfee show? And spoke about Pickett's situation. He offered an interesting perspective on it. And noted that he could see both sides. I'm sure he's frustrated. I'm sure he feels like he never really had the proper opportunity to show his potential and develop. Which is a thing that's going on in this league. We're not giving guys time to develop, grow, and fight through adversity and come out the other side. Because it's a win now world that we live in. So, I don't blame him at all for wanting an opportunity to compete elsewhere or go somewhere and try something new. When you bring a guy in and say he's automatically the starter and you don't even give the chance. I get it. I completely understand his side. But at the same time, I don't blame the Steelers at all. When an opportunity like that arises, a minimum contract for a guy who's won a Super Bowl, you've got to take it. What has a personal interest in the Steelers? with his younger brother TJ, being the biggest star on defense, regardless of what he says about Pickett. He knows his little brother is the best defensive player in the league, but has never won a playoff game and wants that to end this season. Wilson gives the Steelers a much better chance to break that losing streak. Hashtag Pittsburgh Steelers, hash Steelers News, hash Pittsburgh Steelers News. Hash S-T-E-L-E-R's, hash Pittsburgh Steelers News, hash Pittsburgh Steelers S today, hash Pittsburgh Steelers and rumors.